You're a brand like Comcast, Dell, Southwest Airlines, or H&R Block. You've already looked into microblogging as a, a as a tool to leverage to reach your customers. The the service is called microblogging, and companies that offer this are companies like FriendFeed, uh, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. I think top of mind comes to uh, Twitter as the most identifiable microblogging service, and you're probably wondering what exactly these types of immediate communication services can do for your business. In the past we've had instant messaging. A customer would, uh, would instant message your brand via some sort of IM address and perhaps a customer service representative would respond to your customer immediately. Microblogging is a different thing altogether but very much the same. Microblogging entails um, having users opt in to receive updates from your quote-unquote business brand. So in a sense, you're, you're responding to your customers immediately, one-on-one, -on -one, but all of your other customers that have opted in via these microblogging services also get to see these updates. So in respects, a business that adopts microblogging as a tack-on or another digital tool to connect with customers is in effect educating not only the customer one-on-one -on -one that has reached out to the brand to ask the question, how do I fix this or where do I buy that? Microblogging, in a sense, then, is mass communications at a micro level. And any business that wants to leverage this immediate connection to educate all other of its customers should invest in getting um, relationships built with services like Twitter, uh, FriendFeed, and even within Facebook.